find what you're looking for amongst the dead? Yes, I had hoped as much. I slept here too long and could not awake. It may be I... I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? Your ship was attacked. You were the only survivor. Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry... So, so it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. I do not know. I was... The ship we arrived in, the Ebon Hawk, must still... We were attacked. You may, we may wish... I'm not offering to help you. I'm not so young as to leap from death's door as quickly as you. I leave you to the...
it is sealed, strange. In my visions, it was open. Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Can you not sense them? Reach out. Cast aside your sight. Cast aside what you see, and instead, reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. Thank <laughs> you. 
Beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. But you have nothing to fear from this one, and he might yet prove useful. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniforms while I've been in here? Atten. Atten Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field, field only causes mild electrical burns. Security claimed I violated some trumped-up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, that Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the Exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes as for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion. I was sitting here for a long time. Then you showed up in your underwear and things got a lot better. Don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange left. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is, there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Well, that was the story, but whatever happened there must not have lasted. Oh, there was some big civil war on Korriban. Knocked that academy to the ground. Looks like Revan's Grand Crusade finally consumed her. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Look. Not like your half-naked interrogation isn't a personal fantasy of mine, but... Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? Well, the miners can't all be gone. But if they are... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Just in case you don't understand the trouble we're in, let me lay it out for you. 
This facility is a series of mining tunnels dropping kilometers into the asteroid's core. Every worker and droid here has been cleared, then triple cleared for hazardous operations. This facility has an operational threat level so high they don't let uncleared starships in system out of fear that an accidental engine discharge will create a very brief, very hot new sun in this sector. You know why? Because every asteroid in this orbiting minefield has deposits of Paragian fuel within it. That means when one decides to pop, its brothers and sisters are going to come along for the ride. One explosion, you might survive. But a hundred? A thousand? You'll be riding out of here on a comet trail, Jedi. So if something's gone wrong here, you can cling to the Force all you want. But nothing will stop this place from going critical. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. All right, here we are. Now this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure pizzack. The console's ours. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and- Hey! This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. Now, someone tried to lock down this whole level tight, and leave us here. Trapped. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. We could try. But if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you, why not call them and chat? I don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Meow. <coughs> 